Okay, we're going to start out here with the Music Clock AC. This is what I'm going to send you. It's going to look like this. And just make sure that it has XLSM on the end, and the M means macro. So it's got a macro inside. So, and you definitely need Microsoft Excel for this to work. Um, I don't, I've not really tried it, but I don't believe it will work in like uh, uh, Apple's numbers. Anyway, so just double click on it. It'll start to open. Then you're going to get this thing. And if you disable the macros, it's not going to work. I mean, you can see everything, but it won't work. Um, and I guess if you know a lot about macros or Excel, you could disable it, look at the macro, see that it, you know it's fine. There's nothing, you know, nothing bad about it. Um, you know, and go from there. Um, and then enable it the next time. Anyway, if you hit enable, you're going to come up to this. This was the hot clock that you saw in the lesson, and you know, Power Gold, 1990s, you know, the 90s, the 2000s, the 70s, and so on and so forth. Over here, are, down here, actually, is, is the important part. I would not change either of these names. I wouldn't change labels, and I would not change workout. Don't touch these, okay? Because um, this was, you know, I did this for a different type of program, and uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if workout was changed to, like, music, if this would work or not. Um, although, you know what, actually, let's try it. Maybe, I, maybe it will. And maybe give me, uh, let's just change it to clock. Let's see if it updates the colors. It may not work. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so don't be changing that. <laughs> okay, anyway, whatever is typed in here, if it matches exactly what's over here on this on this page, which is the macro, it'll change the color. So let me give you an example. So if I, we don't have a, a 60s here. So if I just say 1960, you know, for the 60s, and, and oh, didn't type it right, sorry, 1960. And then I update the color. So after you change anything, make sure you update the color, hit it a couple times, and then go over here back to the, to the clock and if I say, let's just change this 1990 to 1960, it turns white, which is what the color was. Okay, and you can't see it. Now, how do you change the color? Well, you click on the, on the cell that you want to change, and then you hit Command-1 on a Mac. Not sure what it is on a PC, to be honest. It's probably, uh, probably either Control-1 or Alt-1, but anyway, Command-1 because you want to bring up the format cells section of Excel where you can change, you know, the you know, the type of numbers that are in a cell, whether it's a date, a fraction, a percentage, change the alignment, the font, the font color, borders, and all that sort of stuff. But we want fill and we want the background color. At the moment, the background color is no color, it's white. So if we wanted to change it, so let's just change it to this purple here. Okay, maybe this lighter purple. If I change it to this purple and hit OK, it's going to change this cell. If we go back over to the workout section, nothing's happened because it didn't hit update colors. So I've, you know, I've added that cell, I've made it 1960, I've changed it to purple. Now what I have to do is, for the macro, update the color. Just hit it a couple times, you know, once or twice or three times, it's not going to matter how many times you hit it. And then when we go back over to workout, Boom, there it is, okay? And if I change something else here, so let's just say I wanted another 1960 song in here and just hit it, there it is, it's added it in. Now, one of the things that kind of works a little weird with this is because you're gonna have to kind of change it a couple times. If you wanna change some of these, I mean, you can change the colors really easily, um, but if I wanted to change current to, to, let's just say top 10, I can change the wording, okay? update the color but it still sort of stays the way it is so let me just change this one the second one to top 10 and see what it does okay now that one worked but it kept current you know it kept current is current I guess probably until you change something the macro isn't going to change anything so let's just put 1960 in here and just see you know and update that thing and Okay, now it's cool. Now, probably if I type current back in there, it's not going to go back to red. No, it's not. Okay, so just sort of bear that in mind that when if you change a name of something, um, it isn't necessarily going to erase whatever the old 
color was on the clock. So you might have to go back and forth a few times. But that's pretty much it. If you happen to be in this instance, here, let me show you this for a second. If you happen to be in this instance, um, where, okay, if you look at this, I, I have a light background and black lettering, but here's a black background with a white lettering. You also change that in the same place. So I'll show you what I mean. If I want to change commercials, the, the typing, again, it's Command-1, and instead of Fill, you just go to Font, and the color of the font in this instance is 1. If I pick a, sorry, it's, it's white rather, not 1, it's white. If I want to change it to red, I'll just hit red, and now, as you can see, it's red. If I, you, know, you can change it to any color you want. Just for clarity and ease of viewing, black and white are the best ones to go with. So I'll put this back to white, and that'll change it back to white. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty much how the, ma the macro works. Um, you know, it's running in the background, and it's in a whole different section, which, um, you know, you sh definitely shouldn't be touching unless you really know what you're doing. Don't change either of these tab labels, and um, this is what you would, you know, type in. And if you wanted another song, um, here, let's, uh, let's add another song here. Um, let's add a song. Oh, by the way, these are the minutes of the songs. I just put that in to try to get it to add up to 60. Okay, I got pretty close, but if I... Say I went, uh, say I had a three minute song here, and I took two minutes off of this song, we're, so we're still right back at 59, but it's looking for one more song now, okay, because it's got a blank hole, um, because there's three minutes, but there's nothing, you know, put there to it. So let's just put a power goal down. All right, if you hit power goal, bam, there it is. So you can make this longer or shorter if you wanted to have 11 songs, you just knock out a few. And, you know, make sure that the timing corresponds to whatever you want. Maybe probably 58 and a half minutes is probably a better way to go. You know, because that's about how much the talking would be by the jocks to fill it up. But I think you'll get the idea. Once you start to play with this, um, you know, you'll get the idea. Again, just don't, don't change either of these labels. And know that if you change the wording here... Or add wor wording, like let's just say you wanted to say, hey, let's just put dog here and uh, make it some color, command one again. Let's make it this color. It's weird teal. Okay? Make sure you update the color. So change the word, change the background color, update the colors a couple times, hit it a couple times, go back to the workout, and then add in, what did I just say, dog? Boom. And there it is. Okay, so that's how this works. Any problems with it, give me an email, let me know.